We got our piece of stainless chucked up. It's centered. We uh, drilled it with a center drill, and we've got the uh, live center there, and uh, we're fixing to start our first cleanup. And I've just got a carbide cutting tool in here, so we're gonna cut this back to the uh, the depth we need. Okay, y'all. So the diameter, once this is closed from side to side, is 810 thousandths, and then we want our length. Let's see if I can get this. Ah that outer edge we want to come up at least halfway into the hammer so I'm gonna say that's over halfway but I think that'll give us a good um, hold on it so that's two inches seven hundred thousandths so that's what we'll do uh, you can see our mark for two inches seven hundred thousandths so we're gonna skim this back from one inch to 810 thousandths diameter, all the way back to that point. All right, so we've got the taper done or the recess. You can see I kind of tapered this back as well. So let me show you. Sorry about the hand in the screen. All right. So I started cutting it back to the 81,000 or 810,000, excuse me. And uh, got to thinking about it that the more mass I have here would help lock the head in. So I came back I measured from where the, the bottom of the form will fit up to clearance. So that was uh, one and a half inches. So um, we got that milled down to 81 thousandths. As you see, the form fits over it nicely. We'll square this, that'll lock the head in. And then I came back and I tapered this area slightly, just so when your hand hits it, it's not a, a sharp, abrupt edge. All right, so from the bottom of this head to the bottom of the handle is nine inches. And like I said, this one's a little short, so we're gonna extend it just a little. This is a, a ball pin that I use quite a bit, and it's 12 and a half. Um, that's probably a little long, so I think we're gonna split the difference and maybe go 10 and a half. That would put the handle right about there. So I think that's what we're gonna look at. So now we'll mark this, we'll cut it off, and then we'll polish the end of this to get ready to receive the, uh, the brass or bronze uh, sleeve. Okay. So I've got the handle on here, uh, the handle material we're getting ready to, sorry, I'm trying to clean up a little bit of epoxy. Um, so we're getting ready to knurl it. You can see we, we've already got the knurling set up. Um, and then I realized that I'm scared this is gonna slip, even though it's, it's a little snug, it's not as snug as I would like it to be for um, doing the knurling. So we're, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna epoxy it on. Whoop, there we go. And uh, the excess was what I cleaned off. So we tapped it on, epoxied it, and we're gonna let that sit for a little while. I use five minute epoxy. And then we'll come back, we'll run a slight skim coat and then we'll set the knurler up again and get the knurls in it.
Not bad at all. Alright, so the next thing you can see right here where we started the neural, you can kind of see that the neurals are a little messed up there. And you come down where they ended, it's kind of the same thing. So we're going to clean those ends up just a little. There's the handle. I think it turned out pretty good. So the next step is we've got to cut some flats on here for where the casting's gonna go. And then I also wanna cut a flat on each side of the handle because I think I wanna stamp the uh, owner's name and the channel name in it. So I think we're gonna do that next. We'll cut the flats. And then we'll be ready to cast the head, hopefully. So getting close. inside the cast or the mold and we are in the process of heating up the ingots right now so when it gets a little closer we'll heat preheat the the mold and then we'll try to pour Okay, hey, y'all, so that's it. The project's done. I think it turned out pretty good. A um, couple of things. You saw me epoxy the handle on. Um, I did put pins, steel pins in it um, to help hold it just as an extra fastener. Um, the tape's on there because I stamped the channel name into it, and I don't want to let them know who's, who it's coming to yet. So, um, But I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm excited about it. I hope they are also excited about it. Um, thank you for following along. Thank you for being part of this. Uh, I really appreciate everything that the subscribers have done this year to help promote my channel um, and just supported me. Thank you so much. I hope all of you have a blessed and Merry Christmas. Um, please support the other channels that are in The Secret Santa. You have uh, Hilltop Machine. Um, you've got Tom over there who's, uh, I think he's already put out his Secret Santa video. You've got um, Honest Peyton Speed Shop, Matt the Scrap Whisperer, and Small Town uh, Machine Shop. Um, you've got Adam over there. So please support these guys. Go look at their channels. Um, 
and show them some love as well. Thank y'all for following along. Please like, subscribe, share me with your, your friends and just let them know what we're doing here. I hope you enjoyed this year. Looking forward to see what's coming in the future. God bless. Merry Christmas. I'll see you on the next one.